Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will finishing up with the content template function. Now this content template function is not only used for the inline editing but also for the live preview as well. So that is why we need to finish it off properly so that the live preview can work as expected. So let's get started. Alright, so now let's delete this existing one and try to, you know, adding it again. So let's drag and drop here. Okay, so it is appearing nicely, but this is actually now appearing from the content template section. Now let's try to change this content. Let's go into the content and let's try to, you know, or let's go for the batches so you can uh, see it visibly. So let's, you know, toggle this one. See, it is not working nothing is working now why is that because this function or this content actually coming from this content template function and here if you can see these batches are actually statically built so nothing should happen actually even if we change this but previously it was working because that time it was coming from this function this render function as soon as you you added some content here it is actually expecting you for the live preview from this content template function so that is why it is not actually working right now but we can you know make it working so let's uh, you know get, get get into it so in order to make those things working again we need to use some js templating and you know uh, working with some js objects values in order to make those things working again so let's go back into the browser and search for elementor uh, controls all right there is the controls now what we will do at first we will deal with this image things right now it is actually coming from this local url so that is why it is appearing but in the real scenario it will you know not app not appeared so let's uh, go back for the image or media so here it is let's open it and at the bottom of this example there's a example actually here showing that how you should add this image if you if you key is image then you do have a url object as well so uh, so what we can do we can do like settings dot image dot url in order to get the image url so let's do that so what we can do here let's word wrap we can just delete this from there and what we can do uh, we can use double quotation double uh, curly braces and say settings dot and let's find out our image actually image key that we have used you can find this from here actually we have used image so let's do like settings dot image dot url so if you are not getting it actually it is it is the key name uh, by which you have added the image into the controls before all right so it should work so let's go back and hit refresh if it is stays as it is then it should work so let's try to change it let's try to change it with this one as you can see if it is changing in a live preview then that means it is working all right so we can hit update now let's go back and do some other stuff as well now the next thing i want to do is uh, whether the link is linkable or not so what i mean is that uh, when we you know show image link when uh, right now if we hover it over it is actually showing the image but if we toggle it it shouldn't allow me to click on this image because it is now not linkable but it is not reflecting so we are we actually need to deal with that as well so let's do a condition here with the image templating syntax so we can say if 
yes equal to equal to triple equal to that we'll check the type as well so settings dot show image link that is the key name for the toggle so then we can you know do the template closing and let's cut or delete and wrap it like here not the php all right so this time what we're doing if this toggle value is yes only then the link will appear otherwise not so let's check that out so right now the value is yes that is it that is where it is showing if we click hide that means the value is no longer yes and as you can see the link is no longer appearing so it is actually working now the next thing is the value as well so if i do something like example.com if you hover it over at the bottom of the screen if you can see the link text is not appearing why the cause is the same we do not implement it yet so what we need to do we need to do double curly braces settings and what we have to do image link this is the key name dot url now this will add the link as well but we also need to make those these two attributes dynamically so let's go back and search for the url there it is and if we go bottom as you can see we can use something like this and then we can just inject these variables like this so let's do that all right so let's put right above paste it here and let's just rename a bit because we might have more target and no follows so let's say image and we need to change those keys as well the key f is actually image link so all right now what we can do we can remove these two and double curly braces and we can say image target here and then the image no follow all right so it should reflect on the front end as well so hit refresh and let's try to add something all right it is already added so now if you can see at the bottom when i'm hovering over on the image example.com is appearing so it is changing live so if we change it is reflecting live all right so let's move on to the next steps so let's uh, do for these two things top top price batch and the middle price batch as well so let's first you know copy this if condition because we have to also check those as well if it is checked or not and let's copy this from here and let's change settings dot the key name is show top batch the key name is exactly same with the php object uh, or php array key and this array key actually we are using as the javascript object object key so the key name actually the same so now if the settings show top batch values yes only then we are showing those values so let's do the content dynamic as well and when we are using you know plain text we should use the three consecutive curly braces when we are on the attribute we will use only two curly braces actually curly braces so let's do settings dot uh, i think it is top top batch text yes it is top batch text 
So what we are doing here, we just check if the top batch is value is yes. If it is yes, then we are, you know, changing the top batch text. So let's check that out. All right. So let's go to the content and not the content, but the batch. So if we click on now, see it is not showing. Now when it is showing, we can change the value and it is reflecting live so you can add the dollar sign in front as well all right but with the uh, rest of this these are not actually reflecting so we also need to deal with that so let's do that real quick let's just copy this one and this one as well and this should be the show middle batch and the uh, value should be like settings dot middle batch text all right so let's copy this one and we do have another patch in the bottom all right so let's copy this ending paste it here and this should be show bottom batch and let's just copy this one from here and just change the key name This should be bottom batch. So let's check into the front end as well. Okay, we have must be done something wrong. All right, it was it was a caching problem, so now it is appearing. So now if we click on that and click on batch, so if we click on there. As you can see the middle batch is gone and the bottom batch is also working so if we change the value from there it is also working and if you can change add a dollar sign in front it is also working so the batch is you know working nicely so let's move on into the next uh, next functionalities so let's deal with the content now so with the content what we have actually we do have title and then the description so what we can do uh, we actually added those things in uh, in order to when we added inline editing so i think those things should be okay so let's check the default title let's say settings yes it is working description test yes it is working so we do not have to do that again so now let's move on into the divider as well so for the divider what we need actually we do have a show or height divider so we just only need to deal with that so let's put a if condition again so i'm just copying it and the end statement as well okay now the key name for the divider is show divider all right so let's check that out hit reload and if we go to the content and if we click on show it is hiding and when you click on show it is again appearing so it is also working nicely now the one thing is left it is the button so let's do that real quick as well so for the button at first we need to make the link dynamic so what we can say we can say settings dot link dot url link is the key name and this time we also you know make those dynamic as well so what we can do like before we can just copy and paste it here we can say link target and the link no follow also need to change the key from image link to just link and what we can do now we can remove those two attributes and you can say like 
link target and sorry and link no follow all right now the next thing is the text so what we can do because it's a text so we need to use three uh, curly braces so we can say settings dot link text this is the key name for the link text all right so i think this should be it so actually the problem was with the key name we actually uh, make the wrong you make use the wrong key so the key name actually if we go here it is actually the button link and the button text actually the button text so let's fix that from there actually so what you can say button link here and we need to use button link and the button text all right yeah so this time let's hit refresh and there is no error so it should be okay so now if we go into the button and if we just change it from buy now to any random text as you can see it is changing and if we just you know give something like com or whatever it is if you hover it over if you can see the bottom of the screen the url is showing so guys this is it for this video this is how you can use the full range of the elementor i hope you like this video as well if so then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you